Okay, uh, next up is Reiki. Uh, pretty interesting hero to play. Uh, old gives you permanent uh, invisibility plus the bonus agility damage whenever you hit anybody from behind. Uh, that's usually where you, where you blink. Blink is automatically behind the target. Uh, the, the the smoke or however, the smoke works uh, same way, in a sense where you cast it, people kind of panic, try to get away from the smoke while they're getting away or hitting them in the back. So a lot of a lot of uh, synergy with with that. I mean, also you'll be making diffusal, keeps them more slowed in the dust or in the smoke so yeah you can be building on that whole team plus uh, some items for your other skills like tricks of the trade uh, Manta so I, I explained why those so power threads as usual wanna get that attack speed nothing else really here uh, just go with this you can make some red bands if you want uh, yeah how, however you wanna play them uh, but the first item that you should make is just diffusal uh, diffusal is usually it's best it's best combined with the smoke screen you uh, silence them uh if they want to move out which people usually do they just panic uh you're hitting them in the back you slow them more uh so they still can't they still can't cast spells they still can't get out you're, they're still turning uh, their backs to you you're burning their mana right uh the defense will just make sense uh and anyway for chasing you don't really have a, like a like any types of slow in that sense or stunts or inbuilt bash so it's kind of way uh to kind of help you out uh keep the target there for you to keep attacking right and try to catch uh blinks when they restore so you can blink again right it kind of gives you that uh time to to do like uh, combine combine those and get get the max value so diffusal is just useful for all of all of those things combinations uh now next one can be uh next one can be like really straight to basher or it can be like something like manta style or if you don't want to make manta style at all you can just make Sanj and Yasha there uh it's pretty much a choice between these now like i said manta style it, it's kind of way uh for me to play with the whole team of the hero uh, you can do this uh to silence everybody if they throw throw something at you like it like a traveling stun whatever that is like like red king has or revenge uh you can just uh tricks of the trade disappear that spell is gonna miss you but also uh manta as usual can also do that like, like let's say this is on the cooldown because you use it used it uh aggressively to attack and not defensively uh manta can be just another tricks of the trade used defensively right so you can kind of swap uh <coughs> swap those uh, between each other manta is usually if you get silenced uh I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna skip blacking bar with with Ricky and focus on more damage or stats. Not really the hero where I like going blacking unless I'm really forced to get this, right? But because there's tricks of the trade, there's an AOE silence, there's Manta to break the effects, uh, Bash. Uh, he can he can really really quickly eliminate any support that can do stuff for him. There's also very good value in in uh, shard. You can even get shard earlier. Uh, Slipping dart is just great. Uh, that's kind of your uh, pay to have stun, right? Uh, it's a really nice cast range as well. Uh, he can reach a lot with the dart. Uh, so yeah, uh, Manta, it kind of uh, it's it it doesn't feel that great like used offensively when you just blink on somebody attacking him and create illusions. It doesn't look that like appealing on the screen, like with some other heroes. But it just goes with the whole theme of just being able to evade any incoming damage when any of these is unavailable or you just get silenced and when you get silenced you can't cast any of these right you're able to break silence is manta style and uh manta is also yasha in there attack speed movement speed bonus agility for right for all of that for damage for armor uh plus 10 all stats from ultimate orb is also nice uh you need stats with this guy so it's it's a pretty like natural uh item to think to think about but you can just keep it and get engine yasha right if you want to do it uh you can just get that one so i like playing with this one uh if i'm so yeah if i'm playing with this one usually uh i would my build would just be boots and then diffuser into manta 
uh, kind of just to prepare some attack speed before I go bash. But um, you can go bash immediately as the second one, right after defuser, if you want. Uh, be, uh, bash also benefits from the also benefits from the tricks of the trade, and those attacks happen kind of faster. So uh, you're attacking normally uh, with the defusal, with the blinks, which are immediate attacks, and then tricks of the trade. You can get a lot of procs. You can see how that works already, right? Uh, but usually I just like getting some attack speed uh, before I go for Basher. And uh, he's also the, uh, the type of hero that can uh, immediately uh, get value from Abyssal. If you want to get it, you can just get it. Uh, Vanguard is a really nice addition. It will be there in the fight. Uh, castable stun is great. Uh, you can stun them with that. If the stun, st st stun starts to expire, you just cast your smoke screen. Uh, when they start start moving out of this uh, smoke screen, you slow them down with Diffusal Blade. Uh, if you have Shard, there's also Dart. Uh, Blink also gives slow now. It didn't give before, now this even gives slow. So yeah, like a lot of things, uh, pl plus a normal bash uh, will be proking as well, right? So a lot of things to keep the target uh, disabled and killed off quickly. However you want to do it. Uh, something else that I like making is uh, Daedalus. Just get some damage and crits. Uh, you can you, you do not have to make this. I just like it uh, for even a faster way to kill off somebody. I just like being being able to kill people quickly and without spending all of my resources. Kind of jump on one support if I can, kill them quickly, jump on the second support, get them down as well, uh, or like support carry. However you want to do it, I like to kind of. It's a nice boost so you can save on some of the utility, right? You have to use everything on the same hero. And uh, one also great item, of course, slow, right? For the smoke, for the combo with defusal, for the bonus back damage. Uh, that's Kadi, general stats. Uh, if anybody attacks you straight on, uh, a lot of people that are experienced, once you cast the smoke, it's actually a smarter idea when you play against Ricky to just stay in the smoke. Uh, it's gonna expire and it's gonna deal less damage than you trying to get away from it, unless you're on the edge. Uh, Unless you're actually like here, once he casts <laughs> cast the smoke, it's better just to stay in it and fight him if you play against Ricky. Because you're gonna get some crazy value if you start if you start to try uh run away, right? He'll always have defusal and uh he's gonna keep you in the dust in the smoke anyways. He's just gonna keep you in the smoke. Just just turn back and uh fight him. That's the best way. So when that happens, uh Scott is pretty nice. Most of all slows their attack speed right uh slows their lifesteal so if there's let's say who's crazy with lifesteal uh a lifestealer lifestealer red king uh pretty good for them slow their attack speed and heals that they have been built uh so yeah that's 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 pretty much it with all the stuff explained this can be swapped if you want uh some people like getting butterfly there there's always an option for butterfly but i kind of skip on it and get some like a combo with stats and utility topped off with crits, right? To round it. Uh, now, if you need, if you need uh, Black King, of course, uh, there might be games where you need it. I usually try to rely on all of my tools to just evade everything and also deal damage. But if you need Black King, if you can't really get stuff done, just make it. Uh, it's gonna be fine. It's 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 gonna save the game if you can't do much. There's no other item to make. Uh, once you're getting disabled and stuff, you just have to make Black King, that's it. You can't save yourself with Scott and be like, I'm just gonna tank more damage. It's not about that, it's about being able to attack and not tank. So, that's why. Uh, but anyways, uh, Monkey is there if there's a Phantom Assassin and uh, Butterfly effect, an Evasion effect, just make this. And like, honestly, uh, with Trick you can make it either way, right? It's damage, attack speed, and proc bonus damage. Uh, you can kind of make this anyways. Even if there's no need for it, actually. Uh, you can make it instead of crits. You can make it instead of Skadi. But, you know, it's, it's kind of tricky to decide. I, I would like this more. Uh, in a way, but this can be a great preparation if you kind of know the hero. The enemy hero might go for Butterfly later on. So you can kind of prepare. Or at least stop him from going, right? Uh, so yeah, that's that. I would make something like this as the final one. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at the talents. <clears throat> so, 
this is more slow for every blink becomes uh 1.1 1.1 slow on the last level with the upgrade uh i it's it's not that it's not a huge of a deal i just take that uh smoke screen you can think about this as well if there's uh let's say they're both supports or some heavy spell casters and their mid also went let's say like a spell caster right not like uh, more physical damage so this might be more benefit then uh especially if the old flame it's something like i don't know something like tights uh might be better just to get uh, some some more aoe there keep him longer inside uh get some bigger coverage but yeah de depends on the enemy team really uh second one i mean it's it's pretty much the same like the first one if there's need might be better just to get the the, the silence upgrade reduce the cooldown seven seconds becomes kind of pretty low with the upgrade clock and dagger movement speed is you just being able to run around the map faster now that's completely useless if they just var the map anyways if they always carry dust uh eight percent is not gonna do anything for you really from from the beginning even if, even if the map is not varded that's not like uh, like razor had what he had like 20 something percent uh it's it's not I, I would just take this the smoke screen cooldown right if the fight goes longer it's better uh, it's just better for any case uh this of course blink replenish time uh get it uh you you, you need to get the, the blink as low as low as you can that's your direct damage it shortens the whole distance something like phantoms blink similar uh, so you want to have those charges ready as, as quickly as you can it also gives slow now before it didn't give slow so you can maybe talk about something else but now it also gives you slow if you went with slow here uh it's just a double buff so i would just i would just take it uh backstab multiplier is nice but um backstab multiplier works especially on the blink because you blink behind their back otherwise if they're facing you fighting you you have to manually uh, try to walk behind their back right uh, they kind of they kind of uh, seems pretty difficult to do uh, if they're facing you right so i would just take the the blink replenish and uh last one yeah just cool down for the trade as well right just just get all the cooldowns really man uh get all of the get the get the cooldowns from your silence for your blinks and for the tricks of the trade i really uh just the trade applies a basic dispel i mean who cares about that uh if you get hit you're already hit anyways uh the whole point is to try to play the hero enough that you know when to cast this to not get hit if you're already getting hit by stuff it's kind of useless it's not as strong this spell as well uh i mean i don't know if it was even stronger even it's just spell is as spell is already great as it is uh i would just get the the the, <coughs> the better cooldown uh, but yeah nothing that crazy probably the craziest one would be blink replenish time uh but yeah if the game don't go that long i would just take the tricks of the trade as well uh, kind of goes off with the manta with the whole team right uh so yeah if, if you have blacking even better they all kind of synergize uh so yeah that would be it uh the only thing you have to be careful is always uh, kind of if you see enemy heroes try to click on them as much as you can <coughs> and just kind of take a look if they're carrying dust or wards if they're kind of stacked on wards and dust the map is probably warded because they kind of it's kind of like when people see phantom phantom assassin and immediately know okay i'm gonna make i'm gonna make him bunk immediately i make him monkey straight after boots to as soon as i can kill her uh same way that when they kill when they see rick or gondar they kind of know to always bar the map so just be careful where you move uh because they might just play play stupid and let you approach and then catch you in the trap and kill you uh you don't want to be dead in the cooldown with this guy especially especially when you're playing a carry right so yeah that's it by the shard shard is great uh yeah that would be that would be it pretty much think about these how you want to combine it uh Hey, this is interesting <laughs> not the not the plus is even or the game guy is even suggesting blink <laughs> that is interesting uh but yeah that will be it and uh, i'll see you guys on the next one